Welcome back to video number three. This is the royal family video. It's going to be short. Again, they're on vacation at Balmoro, so there's not a lot going on. So, But let's just cover what little bit we have, shall we? Let's go. We're going to start off with Princess Anne. You guys know how much I love her. She is going to be hosting a special event at Buckingham Palace with Olympic and Paralympic coaches in October when the Paralympic 2024 games come to an end. For those of you who do not know, Anne is the patron of UK coaching. And so she's inviting the coaches who have supported the British athletes to the event. And that is going to, quote, reflect on the monumental efforts of the coaches who have supported British athletes and helped create unforgettable sporting moments. At that point, Mark Gannon, who is the CEO of UK Coaching, put out a statement saying that he could not be prouder of the coaches and it's an honor to see them recognized at Buckingham Palace. Also, we want to point out that William and Catherine put out a wonderful statement wishing them the best of luck, as did King Charles and Queen Camilla. Yeah, we knew this was going to be a big thing right after the main Olympics. Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, put out his own statement to all the members of the Paralympics team heading to Paris. Whether you're an athlete, coach, or staff, we wish you the very best of luck. And especially to all the athletes who were selected, because you have the chance to compete against the very best in the world and win. And more importantly, we want you to go and achieve your best, make us proud, and inspire the next generation. Whatever happens, you're going to have a brilliant experience in France. And this is a unique event, and the French will try to make it a memorable one for you and your fellow competitors. Enjoy every moment. For those of you who don't know, Edward is the patron of the British Paralympic Association. And it was finished up with him saying, as we count down to the opening of the Games, we're looking back at Edward's strong links to the Olympic Games as patron. I lo love him. All right, moving on. Articles are coming out saying that King Charles has made a decision on who is going to move into the Royal Lodge once Prince Andrew leaves. Personally, I don't think anybody should move in there until the whole thing's been rehabbed. They're saying it's got mold and mildew and it's really not good. But what they're saying is that it's Edward and Sophie who they want to move into the property. If you guys have ever seen where Edward and Sophie live, I can assure you they would never leave where they've been since their marriage to move into this place. Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving on. Here we go, King Charles again. He was wearing a kilt. I love a man in a kilt. And he showed out to attend the annual summer flower show in Aberdeen. And this is the first time Charles has been there since he became the patron of the Royal Horticulture Society of Aberdeen. Obviously, it was previously held by his mother. This is the 200th anniversary of the flower show. So after viewing floral displays and vegetables, he cut the uh, ribbon. A little bit of background information. This was founded in 1824 by four men who called a public meeting to form the society. And for the last 200 years, it's a voluntary organization to advance knowledge and encourage the practice of horticulture in the community. While the king was there, he met very young RHSA participants, those who tend to the local park. And then, of course, the king went and spoke to members of the public who had turned out to attend the show. And then at some point during the day, I don't know whether he was arriving or leaving, he was given flowers by a little girl that was there at the flower show. I just, oh my God, I just love that. All right, let's move on. Next up, Sarah Ferguson. We know that she's got the Queen's Corgis. And of course, we recently know that we had International Dog Day. So on August 26, she posted a photo of herself with Queen Elizabeth's dogs. And she put the notice, wishing you and all of your furry friends a happy International Dog Day. Um, according to her, the two dogs are just a joy. They've had the dogs since the the queen passed away. They were gifted um, Sandy and Muick, I think is the other dog's name. All right, moving on. And next up, uh, the royal family we know is in Scotland. So they were seen headed to church. You had Sir Tim and his wife, Princess Anne. Then of course, we spotted the king and queen and with him was the prime minister. 
So uh, Mr. Starmer and his wife are at Balmoral because they're saying it is tradition for the serving prime minister and his or her partner to be invited to join the monarch at Balmoral towards the end of the summer months, just before parliament is back in session because the house returns on September 2nd. So of course the prime minister and his wife got their invitation earlier this month and they um, accepted. They were being given accommodations in the main castle while, of course, the king and queen were going to stay in a private cottage. And um, finally, I want to end with this. A message of condolence was sent to the people of New Zealand, a certain area of New Zealand, following the death of one of their kings. I cannot pronounce it. I'm not even going to try because it would be disrespectful. But I think it was a nice condolence letter. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for all notifications. Put those comments down and make them good. Don't forget to then go into the description box where you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon, which is currently paused, my Amazon wish list, and a physical address in case there's something you want to send. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day. Oh,